The Gain Interrogator can be reached at gaindata.org, where you can see the current online statuses of our data partners. Click on each icon to read more about the data partner. Start the interrogator by clicking on Go under Interrogator. You will be prompted to log in or sign up for a free account if you haven't done so already. The datasets on GAIN are sorted into longitudinal and cross-sectional datasets. Only datasets of the same type can be pulled together. In this analysis, we will work with longitudinal datasets. Use the search bar at the top right to see which datasets contain your variables of interest, for example, APOE genotype. Here, we will pull the datasets from NACC and Arivo and look at how APOE genotype and other risk factors affect disease outcome. To analyze datasets and gain interrogator, you will need variables and cohorts. Let's start by pulling the diagnosis variable. Expand the first data set and click on Diagnosis. You can see that the subjects were diagnosed with Alzheimer's or MCI, or are cognitively normal or have an unknown diagnosis. Click on Map to a Pulled Variable and select Map to My Values under New Pulled Variable. We'll keep the categorical names, except we will exclude the unknown diagnoses with this radio button. Click on Create to map and name this variable. You can now find your newly defined variable under My Pool Data. Go back to the Data Partners tab and let's map the diagnosis variable of the other data set. Again, click on Diagnosis and then Map to a Pooled Variable. This time, select our previously defined diagnosis variable under My Mapped Variables. Make sure the categorical names are the same and let's exclude the unknown diagnosis. Now that we have a pool diagnosis variable from both datasets, we can create cohorts from this variable. Click on Create Cohort. We will first define a case cohort with both AD and MCI subjects. We want the cohort type to be at youngest recorded age, so we don't have to change anything here. Click on Create Cohort again. And let's name this case. Then close out of this cohort and let's create a cognitive normal cohort. We want this cohort type to be at oldest recorded age, meaning that by the end of the study, the subjects were still considered cognitive normal. So click on Change, choose oldest recorded age, and select Normal Subjects. Let's name this cohort Control and close this cohort. Now let's map a few variables of interest for this analysis, starting with the APOE genotype. Click on Map to a Pooled Variable. This time, we will map to a new binary variable. We will exclude the unknowns and based on the genotype, we will define not having the E4 allele as 0 and having the E4 risk allele as 1. Click on Create and name this variable. Go back to Data Partners and we'll do the same for the other data set. Now choosing our previously defined APOE E4 variable. Again, exclude the unknowns and designate those with the E4 allele as 1. Next, let's look for the high blood pressure variable by searching for the term in the search bar. The first result is where the subjects answered yes or no, 1 or 0, for having suffered from high blood pressure. Let's map this to a new binary variable. We will define 0 as 0 and 1 or more as 1 and exclude the unknowns. Create and name this variable. The other data partner may have used a different naming convention, so let's try to search for hypertension. Indeed, this data partner has a hypertension variable. And let's map this to our high BP variable, defining zero absent as zero and recent and remote as one, and excluding the unknowns.
Let's add one more variable, diabetes. Search for it in the search bar. Map to a new binary variable. Defining recent and remote as 1. And do the same for the other data set. Here, you will have to change the range divisions to match with 0 and 1 and define one or more as 1. Now we're ready for the logistic regression analysis. Go to the Analyze tab and make sure logistic regression is selected. For this type of analysis, we're looking at one variable in two cohorts. Simply click and drag the control and case cohorts where indicated, and click and drag your pooled variables. You can drag additional variables for comparing between the same cohorts. You will see a summary of the number of subjects per condition. Click on Run Analysis. You will first need to accept the terms of use, agreeing that these preliminary analyses are not for publication purposes. The result will open in a new tab. As you can see, the odds ratio is high for ApoE E4, but the odds ratios for high blood pressure and diabetes are around 1. This means that having the ApoE E4 allele is a significant risk factor for developing cognitive decline, whereas having high blood pressure or diabetes does not significantly contribute to the risk. You can save your pool data set and the variables and cohorts you created by clicking on the Save icon so you can resume working in another session. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information, visit our website at gain.org. The GAIN interrogator can be found at gaindata.org. Be sure to follow us on social media at ALSGAIN.